St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first is an anonymous donor from St. John's, Newfoundland. She offers this Mass for the deceased relatives and friends and for the most neglected souls in purgatory. The second is Catherine Shawaga from North Vancouver, British Columbia. She offers this Mass in memory of her deceased relatives, for the well-being of her family and friends, and in thanksgiving to God for the gift of her faith, which is so important for her at this time of life. On behalf of all the faithful gathered here at St. Basil's and across Canada, our thanks go out to you in Newfoundland and to Catherine Shivaga in North Van in Vancouver, British Columbia. And now as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us now pray together. All-powerful God, renew us by the coming feast of your Son and free us from our slavery to sin. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when it shall no longer be said, as the Lord lives, who brought the people of Israel up out of the land of Egypt, but, as the Lord lives, who brought out and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the land of the north, and out of all the lands where he had driven them, then they shall live in their own land. The word of the Lord. Oh 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took Mary as his wife. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, 